systems, a ported intake manifold without also the right parts to make the power. So as long as we have the air coming in, we're gonna be optimizing the fuel and the spark and the cam angle. There's only so much we can do safely, so you can see that this process here is, um, is really simple. Let's try 35 degrees and see if we can hit that magic 300 horsepower number. All right, let's give it a second here. Save this again. Let's give it a second here to stabilize a little bit. And then we will do our pull. All right, let's put it into gear here. Hit record and let's see what we got. shut it down. Let me take my headphones off. Let's go take a look just at our overlay before I look at the graph and kind of see if we can guess at what happened here. So showing that we need a little bit more fuel here uh, between let's say 35 and 6,000, 7,000 and same thing here. We're anticipating it probably gained right here. It probably didn't gain a whole lot on the top end. It may have just squeaked out. You can see about negative 1%, 1%. Let's take a look. So we did 203 pound-feet of torque and 299.3 horsepower. So close, we're not gonna break that horsepower and I'm not willing to go over any more cam angles. So let's take a look. Uh, we can see here, if we're looking at our overlays here, kind of walking it up, we can see our green line, zero. Blue is our 10. This is our 20. This is our 30. Finally, here's our 35. So you can see we have mid-range gains here, uh, not a whole lot of top-end gains. That's typically what I see. So the more variable cam here in the mid-range, we see that it gains. In this case, 35 gained the entire way out in our cam angle. So we're not gonna go in here and uh, probably have any kind of actually variable cam blend. We're not losing anywhere as we go up in cam angle. Now on stock cams, that's a little bit different. If you haven't watched any of the other live training videos with the other naturally aspirated K-series with stock cams, um, usually we find 50 degree in the mid-range case gains, and then up top, we have to start dropping the cam angle back. In this case, we're gonna keep it here at 35. I'm, I'm fine with that, um, and we will Take a look here, just update some things in the table. Let's do control J, let's add 4%. Let's add 2% right here. Uh, let's go ahead 3%. Let's add 5%. 1%. percent 7 percent here. Let's do 3% here. Very minor changes, just tiny, tiny differences. Um, so that looks pretty much set up. So that looks good. Um, we should find uh, the next time we go pull through here, it should be good. Let's actually go jump to our 40. We can see this needs a little bit of editing right here as well. So we'll add here 4%. Let's go here and just maybe add maybe 2 or 3% right here. Nothing, nothing crazy. So um, very, very straightforward. So we can look at our cam angle blend, cam angle map. We're going to leave this all at 35. We're going to leave it at 35 because it gains the most power here. We're not losing anything. And we don't want to go any higher than this. Because again, we don't want to have any kind of mechanical contact that can definitely create issues. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.